Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Shell Monster Stories. Since last time, I was in Dorado City, and now I've made my way over to uh, Great Gnome's house. Oh, it's you, David. My, you youngsters surely have a lot of energy. Seems like forever trying to get here from the Underground Passage. But I finally made it. So rest a while if you need some hero, David. Oh, well, thanks. Don't mind if I do. I'll head on inside and take a nice nap. What? What? Shameful! Snoozing off this way when we have work to do. Come, help me wake up my lazy father. The writer said he needs him right now. I wonder if this will work. Hiya! <laughs> Bam! Takes a hammer. Hey, what are you doing with the sick man? Are you some lousy assassin? Been a while, father. Says I, Colcott. Oh, Colcott, you haven't matured one bit. You're still as orny as ever. Father, something terrible has happened. The ore sphere is missing, and Fat Badger is resurrected. Hmm, the ore sphere those kids had wasn't really the ore sphere then. Right, father. Without the ore sphere, we can't beat fa Fat Badger, correct? But we've another way. We need four shells, wind, earth, water, and fire. Here's the whole history that explains the events happening right now. In addition to Fat Badger, an evil god appeared long ago that plagued this land. Unfortunately, this scheme turned Shell Dorado into a living hell. But some ancients in the Shell Monster tried new mysterious technique. They rose up to produce four Shell heroes with amazing powers. Somehow, the ancients concentrated the powers inside the four heroes, and the powers remained inside the shells after the living beings passed on. You see, the Shell heroes fought to their death, but the evil was too strong. But by tapping the powers that remained inside the shells, others rose up too. For millennia, heroes have held the evil at bay, but never totally defeated it. One shell crossed over the dimension of the vibe, the one we call in trouble time. That one brings the hero of the fire shell, while the other shells remain here. The shells of wind, earth, and water offer protection as hedges against evil. These three are usually in the custody of the elder of Shell Village, but the tsunamis wash them away. What you must do now is gather them all. Therefore, I'll entrust my shell map to the current fire shell hero. Oh, well, thanks. This map will detect the powers emitted by those legendary shells. Use it to pinpoint their locations to go get them, whatever it takes. Yes, this map should help you a lot and save you some time, too. So, get moving. When you've collected all four shells, bring them to my house immediately. Free and get it done, David. Uh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. What luck I get the shell map. If you check the shell map and see shiny body of water, that means some kind of fish has swallowed the shell. In that case, you'll be doing the services of a fisherman. Go to Marnley, because an extraordinarily, an extraordinary fisherman lives there. Yeah, so we have the world map and we have the shell map. The world map doesn't show us where the shell locations are to show you where we are, but if you look here and you find the shell map, yeah, just sort of that way that we can find it. There it is. Then you can see that shell over there to the left, uh, that is where we have to go. But it's in a lake, uh, according to Colcott, so we can't get it yet. We need to go to Marnley and, uh, find that fisherman. I believe that his name is Genji or Genji. Um, but we met him last time that he was there and we were trying to, he was trying to build a, a boat of some sort. So hopefully he's finished and we can just uh, head over there and use his boat, use him and, you know, <laughs> use him and abuse him and probably call him once and never call him again. Oh, visitors, come look. At last I finished my invincible vo vessel. Isn't she sweet? You want to charter it? What for anyway? Yeah, we do need to charter that boat. Yeah, I don't really understand, but it would be nice if... Look, I just want to catch some fish out there in those uncharted waters. Yeah, I know, I know. If a fish swims nearby, just give me a holler. Shoot, I'll be reeling him in. Hand over fish! Ha! <laughs> Love the pun there. Okay, so nice! Genshai joins our party as a helper, but we need, um... We need to go to that lake. So... See, where do I need to warp to? I need to warp to uh, Lemiel. Yeah, that's the closest town to that lake. So just warp here, and then we're going to be heading north uh, towards that little tiny lake. And uh, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, whenever you summon Genji, he uh, he comes flying onto the screen, and you'll you'll see it in a minute. He comes flying onto the screen. And he doesn't just kind of appear in the water, he goes over the land. So that boat is like, not only is it invincible, it's like, you know, when an icebreaker, it's like a land breaker. So you just go in here and then you hit the A button to fish. Ooh, we are number one fisherman! Sweet. I seem to have caught something rather strange. Oh, Koopy, thank goodness you're alright! 
Purple Bamboo. I finally found the air shell, Koopy. Please look. Seems you two are acquaintances somehow. Hey, I'm the shell monster, Koopy. I was searching for the three lost shells. Master Hermit Crab gave me an order to go find them. I finally got my hands on the air shell, but that fish swallowed us whole. You're the hero of the fire shell, right? I know that just from seeing the fire shell that you're carrying. So I'll leave this air shell in your care. Oh, nice. Thank you. Awesome. That was easy. Man, you gotta go to a volcano for uh, the earth shell, and you gotta go through, like, um, for the water shell. You had to go to that sea man temple and get swallowed by a fish and all this bullshit. There, all you gotta do is, um, summon a fisherman. That was really easy. But anyway, now that we have um, done that, we need to go back and visit the great gnome. He said, once I have all four shells, which I do, we need to visit him, and hopefully he can give us a way to finally defeat Fat Badger. This has been going on forever and a day now. Okay, so here we are. Let's see what he has in store for us. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Once you find out four shells, give them my father immediately. Okay, I will do that. Oh, you gathered them? Why well, are those four shells next to my bed? We must maximize the power of the elements by combining all four shells. You're really tiger to have gathered them so efficiently. Yeah! <laughs> huh. Looks like a, maybe like a rainbow shell? From a Chrono Trigger? <laughs> Well, this, this this game came out well before Carnage, so we can't accuse them of copying or anything. Behold, witness the magnificence of the combo shell! Oh, how it pulsates with the power of the ancients! Take it, brave heroes! Our fire shell hero will know what to do. Use it to defeat Fat Badger! Oh, awesome! Yeah, and we actually have to get this. If you don't get this now, and you... The fat Badger will be invincible. We need it. So, um, whenever we do go to fight Fat Badger, uh, you have to, have to, have to. Ooh, the Sword of Love. A new Colorado City. Huh. Okay, so we need the Sword of Love and the Combo Shell. We've already got the Combo Shell. Now we just need the Sword of Love, and we'll find the Sword of Love next time on Let's Play Super Shell Monster Story. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have